Islam. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakwadash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother Mashiach Arazaka from the from the from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much this is going to be a Hebrews 101 lesson, Isaiah 28 9 through 10. All right, and this is one of the most this is one of the most important scriptures that um you need to learn. You know that you need to understand this truth. All right, and um, you know, Jake believed that they can just read the whole entire Bible and they'll understand the scriptures, but it doesn't work like that. All right, you can read the Bible, but you can't read it like a novel. You won't receive the understanding that way. All right, so uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Isaiah twenty-eight and nine. It says, "Whom shall he teach? Whom shall he teach knowledge?" And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Then that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. All right. Now, what is being the weaned from the milk? That's the basics of the scriptures. The basics of the scriptures. All right. Understanding the basics of the scriptures. All right. Because when you come into this truth, you got to understand the basics of the scriptures. You know, Deuteronomy 28. All right. Uh, what the Messiah truly looks like according to the scriptures, who he died for, who's Esau, Edom. All right, the breakdown of the MLTB, Daniel chapter 7, you know, uh, you know, Isaiah 19 and uh, 17. You know, you got to understand the basics of the scriptures, the name of the Heavenly Father, first and foremost, getting the, uh, the breakdown to understand the name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. You know, understanding the Lasha Wan Kwadash, the Paleo Hebrew. These are the basics of the understanding of the scriptures. All right. Verse 10. For precept must be upon precept, and precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, right? So you got to go precept upon precept to get an understanding of a particular breakdown. You can't just, you know, read. You know, a whole entire Bible or read a whole three, four, five, six, seven, eight chapters. And, you know, you're not understanding, you know, you can't understand the Bible that way. All right. You got to be able to go, you got to go precept upon precept to break the scriptures down. All right. Because the scriptures is imperatives, you know. And what I mean and what I'm saying is that, let's say, for example, you're trying to break down Revelation 18. How are you going to be able to break that down? You got to watch a lesson and you got to go precept upon precept and you got to understand the scriptures. All right. You got to learn the proper breakdowns. All right. And you're not going to learn that all in one day. That's going to take time. All right. That's what I'm saying. It's going to take time. You can't just read a chapter and then all of a sudden you understand exactly what is being said and what is what is this pertaining to. All right. You got to You got to go into the Hebrew. You got to go into the Greek. You got to break words down. You got to break words down. You got to break precepts down and the only way to break precepts down is understanding the basics all right isaiah 28 and 9 it says whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he teach doctrine it says them that are weaned from the milk so understanding the basics of the scriptures that's what that wean from the milk is and wean from the breast right you got to get weaned off the milk wean off the breast you got to get the understanding of the scriptures all right the basics all right, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So you got to get an understanding of the basics of the scriptures. All right, and one way to do that is to is to study to show thyself approved, as the scriptures say. All right. Let's see if I can get that. All right, here it is, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And there you go. You got to study 
to show yourself approved. That's how you're going to, you know, under, get the understanding of the basics of the scriptures, you know, taking notes of the lessons of the elders, you know, and constantly rehearsing and going over that breakdown over and over and over and over and over again. That's how you're going to build up in the truth. That's how you're going to have, you know, the understanding of the basics of the scriptures, you know, being weaned off the milk, studying to show thyself approved. All right. So, again, you can read the Bible, but you got to go precept upon precept. All right. You can read four or five chapters, which is absolutely, you know, good. You know, you know one thing the scripture, the elders and brothers say is to read. Uh, I believe they say read 12 chapters a day, you know, but you got to, you know, to break certain things down. You got to go precept upon precept, man, to get proper breakdowns, you know, and study to show yourself approved. It all starts with that. So, hey, man, you know, I just wanted to do a lesson on this. All right, Lord, one the lesson was edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh, Chakodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men we learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers. Scatter abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm your brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the service of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, Lord 1, this lesson was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.